So we are uh, at a dealership and I finally fixed the problem with the Titan and its parts availability that left us stranded on the side of the road. And that fix is right there. Welcome to the shop. My name is Tavarish. I'm Jared. And this is Wrench Every Day. We actually are at my yeah. shop today, and we're in front of my we're shop. In the sun, it's bright. It is It is a little bit bright, but I'd rather bright than cold. We, we were yeah. just in uh, very cold Colorado. Uh, I, I didn't appreciate it very much, but what I do appreciate is, is Jared's new toy. Jared, 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 Jared got a new toy, and uh, there's a story yeah. behind behind this. And uh, now we're gonna recall that story because uh, it's quite interesting. We were filming Car Trek and my beloved Nissan Titan that I suggested everyone should buy, um, as you saw in the last episode, uh, caused some problems and it went boom. Oh, did it? Uh, did it now? A soft boom, but a boom that left us on the side of the road and we wanted to get home and we were tired and I tried to buy parts and they said it'd be four months. So I fixed the Titan the best way I know how and that's a $100,000 truck. <laughs> around for the process of getting this truck but you guys were not so uh, Jared <laughs> how'd you find this truck in such a small amount of time uh, the same way we find just about everything and that's Auto Tempest it's an awesome sponsor for us today which we're excited to have on wrench every day oh, yeah. and it is a sponsor we use all the time So if you guys don't know what Auto Tempest is, it is the best way to find your new car. Well, new or used or just new to you, it combines all the major car listing sites into one easy search. In fact, that's their slogan, all the cars, one search. We actually looked for this truck or a similar truck all across the country and joy of joys, we found this, which is legitimately the cheapest one in the country in, with this sort of like uh with all these options and miles and condition yeah there is nothing that came close everything and a similar price point were double miles or 2500 not a denali like it they did not match this truck and that's where we're going to pose you a challenge yes we want all of you to follow our link in the description below so it helps us and you get to go to auto tempest and try to beat this deal. So <laughs> the details of that is that this is a 2015 GMC Sierra Denali 3500 HD with dual rear wheels, yeah, dual <laughs> rear wheels, uh, a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel, and it has all the creature comforts of home in a truck. It's It really is fully loaded, it has about 55,000 miles. Uh, it doesn't have any weird accidents. It's not salvage title or flood damage. This has been taken care of very, very well. So I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag, but uh, how much did you pay for this? So I'll let the cat out of the bag. This was $51,000. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money, but that's a lot of truck. It what? is a lot, like just physically, it's a lot of, that's a, that's a lot of truck. Yeah, we haven't found a comparable truck under $59,000. So. Yeah. Try, try your best, jump on Auto Tempest with our link, see if you can find a better deal on a truck like this, same options, send it to founduntempest at gmail.com and uh, we'll see what you can come up with, but you're not gonna beat that truck. Well, you can also find something like similarly, like maybe you're a Ford guy or maybe you're a Dodge guy. Uh, just see if you can beat this. I, I honestly think you can't. This thing is amazing. And now we're gonna yeah. go around it and do a little yeah. tour because uh, we actually have been in this for quite some time. You can see a trailer behind it. That's yeah. my new trailer. And there's a lot of bugs on the grill. Um, a rock chip that I was very, very sad about. We'll start with the rock chip. Like that was depressing. There was um, a, a dump truck driver that kind of forgot to uh, close his back and shot a rock and gave us that poor little shiner, <laughs> which I was sad about, but, but it's okay. Wah, wah. So that windshield notwithstanding, 
What are the specs on this truck? It has a 6.6 .6 V8 turbo diesel making yeah. how much power? It was, I believe, is at 397 horsepower and 767 foot-pounds of torque, which... Something like that, yeah. Which is a lot. Um, yeah. The Titan, with this same trailer, same load, you always knew it was there. And we were going down the interstate, and it's like, oh, yeah, there's a trailer there. Like, it, Hey, did the trailer fall off? Like, Yeah, was, yeah it, it really is quite like a, a lazy boy because it doesn't care that anything's back there. I mean, you can tell a yeah. little oh, bit. A but, little bit, yeah. but it, it just, it's meant for it. Uh, once we were on the interstate, like, the transmission would get cool because there was no, it just didn't care. It's rated for just short of 24,000 pounds of towing. Yeah. Which, uh, which is almost double yeah. the, 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 Titan. <laughs> the Titan. So, uh, here, we're going to snap inside and we're going to show you what 24,000 pounds is. All right, we're inside. It's a little bit cooler, less sunny. Mm -hmm. So what can we tow? We can tow that, 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 uh, that one, that one, and probably that one all at once. Yes, <laughs> that is that is a lot of towing. You'd, you'd need a really long trailer. A really big, long trailer. So uh, we're not going to stress this truck with any of the towing it's gonna need to do. Absolutely not. So here's the business end, and this is the long bed. And when I say yeah. long, I mean yeah. like, it's long. There we go. Long, oh. very long. This bed is perfect. It Yeah, there, there's no used marks at all. This is, it's literally never been used. Yeah, there's nothing been dropped into it at all. This was owned by Tim Devlin yes. of uh, Devlin Customs. This was basically what they used to take the really pretty cars to the short haul runs. Mm -hmm. um, the mileage just didn't exist and this truck has had a very good life and uh we're gonna work it hard because that's what i need trucks to do work yeah. hard so well yeah your, your other one worked maybe maybe not as hard as your last one because that, that's how it blew up so uh. so there was a billboard we passed and i wish we got a picture of it that was for the nissan titan and it was five years one hundred thousand miles enough said um that's my, exactly <laughs> my titan was five years old with 97,000 miles and that was enough. <laughs> that, enough was, that, was, that, that was exactly enough. Yes. I mean, so that it wasn't wrong, no. but uh, so. Uh, well, we have a uh, gooseneck hitch, which was a very important piece uh, to this puzzle. A lot of other trucks didn't have the gooseneck hitch and it's just this big ball right in the middle of the bed with two, um, two little eyelets for the chains but this tows it like no problem. Uh, you have plenty of space uh, to move around. You can go completely 90 degrees. Yeah, and, because uh, of that long cab, like we could go tighter than 90 degrees, but you don't want to on a triple axle trailer. Um, otherwise it just rips the rubber off of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, again, it was amazing. I love my Titan, loved. I still, still small, small, it hurts, but. Does it hurt? Does it hurt right here? This this made it a lot better. The no, but gets, this this one this one hurts in your pocketbook, doesn't it? Yeah, a little a little bit right now. So, yeah. but let's go inside and uh, introduce you to the office, which we spent 17 and a half hours in yesterday. Yeah. Um, over two days, we covered 1,400 miles and zero fatigue. Like it is. I'm not gonna say zero fatigue. It was pretty. Tired. Well, we were tired just from. But time. not but not from the truck. Not, so, the truck was totally fine. Yeah. Let's let's look in the back here. There's a. Uh, Ooh. All right. So for uh, rear passengers, we have oh push a rear entertainment center with the remote that almost looks like you play video games with. I think you might <laughs> be able to play video games with that. So this is a Blu-ray player, DVD player. I believe I can put a compact memory card in and also play from that. I can hook up a video game system to it. I mean, you can hook up an N64 or something. Yeah. To... <laughs> uh, in the armrest, here, I'll pull those out too. We've got the rear seat uh, headphones that have never even been pulled out of their bubble wrap. Nice. So those are perfect. We My have... Mercedes didn't come with those, by the way. Really? No. I've got the, they were almost the same price. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, power rear sliding window. Uh, actually, I haven't pulled these down yet. Uh, uh -huh. Is it just a pull? It's just pull. There we go. So, Ooh. ample, very comfortable. Well, you have you have the nice leather. It's uh, it's not a black on black. I actually yeah. really like this. It's uh, it's almost like a saddle, and it has very nice white stitching. Oh, you got a cup holder. Yeah. You can never have enough cup holders in a car. Uh, one thing the Titan has on the Denali, 
cup holders. There are two, two, not really one here. So this is like an eight cup holder truck. The, the Titan had 16. Well, you need that many cups because when you're waiting on the side of the road. Yeah, for your tow truck. Yeah, you're probably, you're probably gonna wanna want some uh, drinks. Oh. Uh, those will probably be coming up on the Vinwicky merch page, so watch for those. Mm -hmm. uh, really cool, these are the inlet ducts for the best feature of the truck, and that is not- Well, actually, shh, 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 shh. Okay. Why, why, don't, why don't you just show them? Three, two, one, boom. Uh, oh, yes. So, uh, not just ventilated, actively air-conditioned seats. Well, let me, let me show you what's going on. So, these seats are perforated, and uh, we might get demonetized for this, but yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I, this is really cool. Uh, and air-conditioned, really cold air comes up from... Oh, I can, I can feel it already. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm, yeah. Ooh. I'm farting snowflakes. It's, it, is, uh, it is wonderful, but here, I'll borrow the camera so we can get the mic near, and you can hear it. Uh, it's very exciting to look at, but it's actively pulling... Aaron, it's 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 right up there. It's going <laughs> right right in there, and I'm learning things about myself that I didn't want to know. But but, uh, but but you're enjoying. So you have another memory card, uh, auxiliary in USB charging, and what I like, they have these little grooves so you can close the lid without pinching your wires. Uh, you also have a ton of storage down here. You have a removable cup holder uh, and um, hidden storage. Yeah, that's where you hide your let whatever uh you have a usb bank here two power outlets not cigarette lighters because you don't want to smoke in this car and then you have an ac outlet 120 volts but right here is where okay. all the magic happens there, notice there are no blank off switches no because any car that has blank switches that those are the shooter worked harder switches did you know that i, I know you call them that and that's we, exactly what they are we both realize that in a titan Ooh, that air. Yes, yes. <laughs> it just hit a spot. Yeah. Um, in the Titan, fully option, you could still have blank switches. That's because if you buy a Titan, you should have worked a little harder and bought a Denali. I can't argue. We have adjustable pedals, traction control off, cargo bay lights, and the bed rails actually have lights, so the entire bed lights up. Your parking sonar. The lane keep, keep assist warning, which is quite nice. It doesn't actively turn the steering wheel and jerk it away from you. It just gently vibrates the seat left or right mm -hmm. if you're wandering in your lane. Uh, exhaust brake, engine exhaust brake. So when you're going down a hill like a big rig's Jake brake, mm -hmm. it's brrr and slowing you down so yeah. you don't burn up brakes. We have OnStar set up, uh, had a nice chat with someone and got it all set up. Let's go settings. Valet, oh, valet mode, radio. Just is, is that is that so you only get you only give them 500 foot pounds of torque or like yeah. what, what's, what's yeah. the valet mode for? I, I, Who's towing, you know, like dropping this off to a valet? You could do that now. Now, I, I now that could be you. Like vehicle? What, what can we... Climate and air quality. So Jared uh, literally bought this truck and then just drove it. Yeah. He has no idea how any of this works. Right. So, he well, has not explored any of these options. So when you see him going, ooh, look at this. This is literally the first no, time he's done so, this. So we have done a horrible job at covering all of these features but there are a lot of features and uh, this is a completely fully loaded truck i want to yep. see what the engine looks like okay let's take a look oh there she is buried in just like all diesel trucks it's there somewhere honestly it doesn't look harder than the, the titan was no it actually there's more room in some of the areas to work on the titan uh compared to the titan one there's the turbo not buried horribly under intake manifolds, easier to get to. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's not as bad as my 6.0 where the cab had to come off for everything. Like, it, it's there. You can work on this if you need it to. Yes, it's, it's definitely there. Um, now, this is a common rail diesel. It is an LML engine. And uh, there is a, I believe it's like an L5 or something like that. The, uh, that that's a newer one. Yeah, which the is, next newer generation. Yeah, which is essentially this with a tune. Uh, it has slight variations on different components, but this is very, very capable. With some supporting mods, I mean, this can make over a thousand foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, very easily. It's, it's you, you shore up a couple things and, and put the new tune on it, and it's as capable as the new truck, which really, other than some minor facelifts, this is the new truck. The interiors of the 2021 felt identical to this truck. 
So let, let's hear what it sounds like. Uh, or or what, doesn't sound like? Or doesn't sound like. What, uh, what, where's the exhaust? Uh, it's right rear pointed backwards. Alright, hit it. <laughs> it smells lovely back here. It's it actually smells pretty nice. it's like it, it smells like cookies. It might be regenning then. I don't think it's regenning. I think it's just it's just nice. I think it's just a wonderful truck. Uh, so so let's turn it off and let's yeah. let's be real with our with our viewers for a second. So when we said um or actually I came up with the idea that this was a hundred thousand dollar truck. I was not a hundred percent um accurate, but I am technically accurate, which is the best kind of accurate. Also, uh my face is in the sun and I'm staring at it right now. So this truck was how what was the window sticker? Sixty-eight thousand dollars when it was new. Okay, so this truck was sixty-eight thousand dollars five years ago, and uh honestly it hasn't lost a lot of uh value for, for what it is. Um Considering that this truck is essentially a facelift and some minor modifications away from being a completely new truck, a completely new truck would cost north of, like, way north yeah. of $100,000. Over $100,000 for the similar four-wheel drive modern equivalent of it. And modern being six years, it's not very old. Again, it's the same truck. So yes. it is a hundred thousand dollar truck in YouTube rules. Yeah, YouTube rules. I mean, this is it's basically the same thing. Also, if you, I mean, you won't be able to notice the difference. This is yeah. this looks, for all intents and purposes, this is a brand new truck and it drives like a brand new truck. Um, unfortunately, you didn't really you didn't really know what this truck needed, right? You just no. you just like so, found out that it had wheels and brakes and a, and yeah. a gooseneck and that's it. Yeah. It, number one, gooseneck. Number two, diesel engine. Number three, minimal rust, good history, most of the service, like it had the oil done. Mm -hmm. Like those were our primary check boxes before I signed all the paperwork to agree to buy the truck. Yeah. Um, one thing I did notice was a little bit with the tires, but nothing that stopped us. And that is the extent of the inspection that was done to the truck before we drove it. All of that mileage home, which is exactly how you should buy a truck. Don't look at it. Uh, don't do a pre-purchase and inspection and drive it across the country pulling a big trailer that just blew up your other truck. You should probably do that. You should you should absolutely do no. that. Uh, if I had the right shirt on that said make questionable choices, you know, it, it's in my suitcase dirty from car trek filming mm -hmm. because we got in 3 a.m. last night and we're already back to filming because we got to. Um, yes. So next time mm -hmm. in Georgia, because I really do need to get home, I came down for a two-week trip that Friday said, please stay. And it's been six weeks away from home and my mm -hmm. wife and Pira. Um, we're gonna go to Georgia and find a dealership and uh, find out everything wrong with my $100,000 dream truck. Yeah. I mean, I did like the Titan because it was a very unique, unusual truck. One of our hotel stays, there were three white GMCs in the parking lot, mm -hmm. but there is something nice about being the truck that blends in if you're trying to make hay across country absolutely you need a truck that had that you can get parts for right why would you like rarity should not be a thing when you're trying to buy a dependable workhorse I, shut up like come on it was, okay it was a cool truck you even wrote how this much is you way liked it. this is way cooler this is way cooler. Literally, I don't care. Literally, my butt is a lot cooler in that truck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so uh, let's let's end this, and uh, you can show the people uh, what is wrong with your very expensive purchase uh, in the next no, episode. Nothing, but I, I, there's one thing wrong, and that's it. Nothing else. I hope. What's that one thing? The the tires. The tires. They weren't rotated, so they feathered a little bit, so you vibrate a little in the steering wheel. That's it. There's nothing. I really hope you're gonna get like a thirty thousand dollar bill. I, this is what happens to everybody that does it Woo! on YouTube. Yeah, I really hope I don't pull a Tyler. Who, that oh god, Tyler helped everything facilitate this truck. He's friends with the dealer. Yeah. I am gonna get like Wizard's gonna poof out of somewhere, and I'm gonna get a hundred thousand dollar bill just because we called it a hundred thousand dollar truck. It's karma. Well, welcome to YouTube, Jared. Welcome to YouTube.